By the way, I don't have a drone. Welcome to my in-depth review about my selfie stick. It will be really an in-depth review and, and I had a little surprise when I used it. Before we start, please subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's start. This is my old selfie stick, the big U-Shot in the beautiful color pink from Accessories. Oh yes, it is really the old one. A bit rusty and not really trustworthy anymore. While this is recording, I realized how run down it is. Look at it. You can check out my review, by the way, when it was brand new. Link in the description. Anyway, the stick served me very well. And I think the selfie stick concept is a proven concept. So I wanted to take it a bit further. Once I was trying to build a long, long selfie stick. And then I knew size really matters. There were three things about the old selfie stick I wanted to have for the new one as well. It was the screw on the button for extension possibility. The flexible head in the front end. And how you adjusted the segments, just by turning it around. After some research, I decided on the Sand Pole Metal Edition. It is made of industrial CNC aluminium build, which is waterproofed aluminium material. It comes in this box. It included an aluminium tripod mount for the GoPro. And the selfie stick with a rubber grip and an adjustable wrist strap. The metal GoPro mount is mounted on the screw on the top of the stick. And it also comes with a remote holder for the GoPro. Let's take a look at all the other specifications and features of the selfie stick. The mechanism for adjusting the segments is a little bit different to the old one, but I got used to it and used it many times in the Philippines. I also used the selfie stick as a tripod for a time-lapse sequence. I used the selfie stick for about four weeks in the Philippines and then this happened. I contacted customer service immediately via email. And the customer service responded perfectly. It took them only a couple of days until I had my replacement and imagine they had to send it from the US to Germany. So let's take the opportunity and make a real in-depth review. So let's find out what happened to the grip. I pulled out the wrist strap and this little plastic disc appeared. This disc looks like it has been 3D printed and it has this little indentation. When you look into the pipe, there's something similar there. I figured it's probably something like that. I used a hammer, by the way, to get it in. But this crack is not from me. Maybe this is one reason why the grip got off. And I could not find out what this hole was for. 
Let's see how the four weeks in the Philippines has affected the surfaces of the selfie stick. Generally, it's not too bad. All the screws are still moving quite a bit and I have to admit I have not cleaned it with normal water yet. I was also interested how this movement of the segment is realized. If you open it up, two plastic pieces fall out, you just see one now here. To put it back together it's a little bit tricky, but if you watch out for the indentations it's perfectly fine. Actually, this is the most rusty part. I was a little bit surprised about that. Especially it's inside the stick and it's hard to replace it. Because most of the material is aluminium, you should be able to remove most of the rusty parts. No, of course, I did not clean it that way. <laughs> As you can see, it's not perfectly new again, but it's good. Well, this is the end for this review. I hope I provided the information you were looking for. And here are some more selfie stick moves from the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Axel and see you in the next one.